The drawing sheets are stored in the template project and are copied whenever you create a new project based on that template. If we go to the output tab and select drawing sheets, you'll see the sheets that are in the active project. The sheets are generally just a collection of reference drawings with possibly a few elements added on top. If we look at the first level floor plan, we'll see that we have a title block and the layout, and we can see which reference drawings are on this sheet by going to the modeling tab, go to reference drawings, and select properties. Here we see that there are two reference drawings. One is called sheet underscore 11 by 17 dot VXP. That's the name of the title block and the title blocks are generally stored within a subfolder inside the project called view underscore DWGS. The one walls dot VXP is the first level wall layout in the project. So if you want to create a new project, it's really just a matter of adding those couple of reference drawings. I'm going to close this sheet, go back to the output tab, select drawing sheets, and this time I'm going to click the new button. I'm going to enter a new file name. I'll just call this tutorial one. The title and then click OK. So now we have a blank 2D drawing that we can add our reference drawings to. So first I'm going to go back to the modeling tab, go to reference drawings and select reference drawing or model. I'm going to go find the title block that I wish to add. So I'll go into the view DWGS folder and I'll select sheet 24 by 36. Now the title block we want to make sure we add at full scale so I'm going to click this K button to check what the scale is and it is set to FS which is full scale and I'm going to locate this by just snapping it down on the origin marker. Now you'll notice the green box that is what we call the drawing extents. We need to resize that so that it matches the title block and this will allow the drawing extents to fit on the paper size that we will be plotting on. So I'm going to right click, select properties, and on the drawing limits page we can use the select box button and just click the two corner points of the title block. Now we can add layouts, elevations, sections, and any other types of views or drawings to this sheet. So I'm going to go back to the Output tab and I'll select the Add Drawing to Sheet function. We'll select Floor Plan and here we can choose which layout drawing we want to add from the project. So the one ceiling, one deck, first level wall layout, the second levels, third levels, the basement, and the roof. I'll start with just adding a first level wall layout. Click OK. Again, I want to check the scale, so I'm going to hit the one colon question mark button. We can use the quarter inch scale. And then I'll locate this either by measuring off of a point, or we can change the reference point using the basic reference point function. And we can select the reference point middle. This will allow me to align the middle of the layout with the middle of the sheet. So I'll use the find middle function by hitting D on the keyboard and I can just click the two opposite corners of the drawing sheet and that'll put the center of the layout on the center of that diagonal line. And then hit escape. The information in the title block comes from two different places. The project data card contains the information about the project in general, like the project name and the house model. The sheet specific information, such as the title, page number, and the scale, come from the document archive, which you can access by right clicking and selecting active document data. The drawing title was already entered when we created the sheet. 
the scale we used quarter inch and then you can enter in the sheet number, page number, drawn by, checked by. Drawing type is just informational as well as sheet size and you can also manage your revisions here as well. I can update the text on the sheet by closing it and reopening it or you can go to the drafting tab and under the text functions we have the ability to update text macros. So now I'll close this sheet and say yes to save. We can go back to the output tab, drawing sheet, and I'll create another drawing sheet. I'll call this one tutorial two. So again we'll add the title block by going to the modeling or drafting tabs. They both have the reference menu select reference drawing or model. It remembers the last drawing that you referenced in so we can just stick with this one and click OK. We'll change that reference point back to the bottom left corner and double check that we're still on full scale here. Hit escape, right click, properties, select box so we can resize those drawing limits. Then I'm going to go back to the output tab. We'll add another drawing to sheet. This time I'm going to add an elevation drawing. And here we see the four standard elevations that are included with our default template project. So I'll just start with the front elevation. We can check the scale quarter inch and I'm just going to place that up here in the top corner. You can continue to add additional views and layouts and you're only limited by the amount of space that you have on your sheet. To create a cross-section, you can select Define Cross-Section View up in the Output tab. Then select two or more points to define your section line. The arrow indicates the viewing direction. Hit Confirm when you're done selecting your points. When defining a section view, you always want to make sure you select the sections model. You can select how far you want to see from the section line in the view by entering a distance here. If you enter zero, then you'll be able to see all the way through to the end of the structure. Enter a label for this view and give it a name. Now that that view has been defined, we can update the view by going to this Drawings menu and selecting Update Views. This gives us a list of the individual view drawings, so I can select the Section AA drawing. I want to make sure we update the view and also update that model since we haven't generated it yet, and click OK. I'll stick with the default scale. After the view is generated, it will open on the screen. We can close that, and then we can add it to a drawing sheet. So I'll go back to the Drawing Sheets function. We can create a new sheet or add it to an existing. I'll add it to my Tutorial 2 sheet. And we'll go to Add Drawing. We'll select the Elevation, Section, and Perspective View drawings. And now my Section AA sheet is available. I'll click OK. 
we can double check that scale. I'll leave it at eighth of an inch and plop it down somewhere on my sheet. There are other kinds of views you can define. Under the cross section view menu, you can see you can define additional elevation views as well as interiors, interior section, and a perspective view. To define a perspective view, I'll select the function and I'll select the elevation model this time since we're taking a view from the exterior side of the model. And now it's waiting for you to select a location where the camera will be placed to generate the perspective view. Down in the bottom left, you'll see the default values for the Z height and the tilt angle. You can change those by clicking the Z button. I'll make this 200 inches, comma, and a tilt angle of minus 10 degrees. So I'll be up high and looking down a little bit. And click OK. And now I can zoom out and select a point on the layout and then a direction towards the house. So then I'll left click to select that direction. We can give this view a label. I'll keep it label A. The name of the view is perspective view A. And then we can go generate that view by selecting update views. Select perspective view A and click OK. I'll click OK on the scale again and here's the completed view. So I'll close the drawing, go back to the drawing sheet. This time we can uncheck the update views and update models checkboxes because all the views have been generated already and we don't need to make any changes to those. Since it doesn't have to generate those views or models, the sheet will open much quicker. Then we can add the new drawing. Perspective views need to be scaled way down. As you can see, I'm going to hit the one colon question mark. And then the last item in the list is another one colon question mark. And here I'm going to choose a scale something like 1 to 4,000. And then left click to locate it on the sheet. And we can close and save that drawing. And now that all of those views have been defined on that sheet, if there's ever a change to the model, then all you need to do is just update that sheet. So for example, if we change this door type, I can double click on that door and let's change it to a double door. I'll save the project. Go back to the output tab, drawing sheets, the tutorial 2 sheet. Now this time I do need to update the views and update the models since there has been a change to the original project. Then I'll click OK and let it refresh all of those models and views. And now you can see the double door on the elevations, the perspective, as well as the layout. And as you can see, the dimensions from the layouts are just referenced right in directly from the layout. The dimensions on elevation views and section views need to be added directly to the view. So to do that, we can right click and select Open View Drawing from Sheet, select on one of the views. So I'll click on this section view, for example. So now that view opens up. It's now active and I'm in the full scale and we can go to the drafting tab and add the dimensions and any other drafting elements. When you open a view from a sheet, 
you are automatically in the add only mode which means we're adding elements on top of the view and if the view ever gets regenerated these elements will remain on top of the updated view. If you ever need to edit the view itself we can change that mode by right clicking and choosing select view drawing editing mode. Then you can change to the editing mode, click OK, and now we can edit the lines and hatches that make up the view. One thing to remember though, if the view ever needs to get regenerated, then those changes will be deleted and the new view will replace the old edited view.